Grace is a sweet bean. Bad bean, good bean. Know your beans. Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mega Play. I am Nick. We're playing more Killer Love. This game is getting just as intense as the piano that you are hearing this very moment. And I mean it's starting off with a heckin' mean word. I'll just substitute the word strawberry, just like last time. That little strawberry. I hope she had a good look at us burning all that trash of hers. At Jack burning it. God, I'm so proud of him it hurts. I can't believe I miscalculated though. I thought Grace was gone for good. At what way wa? She not? But then there she was, in our all in our hallway, asking where Jack was and what I had done with him. All this while Jack was right on the other side of the door. Can you imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there? She would have knocked on the door and rung the doorbell and she would have probably called out too. It would have scared Jack so badly. Can't bear to think about it. Thankfully I wasn't wrong about everything to do with her. She hasn't called the police. I knew she wouldn't. I just didn't think she'd come back at all. She was still as scared as a little lamb. Her hands shook while she demanded I tell her what happened to Jack. He, he can't be in there, can he? She stepped forward, but when I put myself in between the door and her, she backed off again. I wonder how she didn't pee herself. She was so scared. Jack doesn't want to see you. What are you doing to him? No one's seen him since I went away. It's like he disappeared. He's been here the whole time? God, what are you doing to him? Be quiet. She was making so much noise. I put a hand on her shoulder. I had to see if she had the guts to slap it away. She just stood there. Jack is perfectly fine. He's happy and he doesn't want to see you again. I... I know he probably hates me now, but at least let me see him. I have to at least see him again. So annoying. Loneliness has made her desperate, unpleasant. Hey, you have made everyone unpleasant since you've been here, lady. Grace is a sweet bean. Bad bean, good bean. Know your beans. That's what being by yourself does. Look at dear Jack. We've only been together again for a short while and he's already such a sweetheart. And he was so prickly before. If you see him now, he'll tell you he hates you. Do you really want that? No, I don't want that, but... Then go away. Oh, she got a little yandere eyed. I saw it. It's as simple as that, don't you think? Even someone like you should understand. W why are you so... I thought we were... She swallowed hard. I have to see him. Anna, please. Hmm. Being alone made you into a real strawberry. Oh, that's not nice. You know what? You're also going to get dubbed over with the word strawberry just because. What? Or did it? Were you lonely after all? It really makes me wonder. With how little money you took with you, I was sure you'd be living on the streets. But you're clean. You don't smell more than usual. I'm living with a friend. What does it matter? That's a lie. You don't have any friends. Grace gritted her teeth and glared at me. She wanted to run away in shame. She's so simple, so obvious, but she couldn't leave with, with Jack so close. I don't like narrating mean characters that are mean to nice characters. If I ever did voice acting, I'd have to just be typecast. Like, now this character's not mean to anybody, is he? Unless the person I'm being mean to is an asshole. In which case, I'll be mean to them all day. So, where are you staying? Who's... Oh... Whose whose clock are you chucking for rent? My goodness. I I'm not... Is that wrinkly old man you worked with? It's nothing like that. I am living with Don, but I'm not... Oh, aren't you? Then how are you paying back his paying back his hospitality? You don't have any money. You quit your job too. I checked. I'm not paying anything back. Don't be shy. Oh, screw you. Move. Oh, nice. Good on you, Grace. How violent. It's a good thing I separated her and Jack when I did. Any more of this girl's influence? Who knows, who knows what could have happened? She tried to shove past me, but I had a little surprise in my pocket. I'm sorry, what? Anna, that's... Yep. So don't you dare touch me again. It's what? I mean, I heard a knife shink, I know, but... I might do something bad. Press the knife against the side of her neck. It drew blood. I couldn't help myself. But it wasn't a lot. I'm not going to kill someone out in the open like that. I'm not stupid. Grace stood petrified. You... you can't do this. I'll... You'll call the cops? No, you won't. They won't believe you. They never do. 
right? She didn't lash out, for once. She must have finally realized how useless it was to try. So she shuffled away. I waved her off. It's only polite. She didn't even look back. I don't like this mean lady. She's mean lady and I don't like her. But then she kept following me around, even after that. What a stalker. So I had Jack burn her things. I knew she was watching. It was beautiful. Now she'll back off for good. Or so you think. I wonder. I hope. I'm back. Welcome back. Hey, easy, you'll trip. The moment she touched me, those long hours of waiting were painted over by warmth. It made me so happy. Something smells good. Is it dinner? Yes. Oh, you remembered. I'm so glad. And then he's like, I invited my new friend Grace over. And then they just start the whole loop all over again. I had made a casserole. Anna set the table and I served it. Mmm, that was really tasty, Jack. Thank you. I wasn't happy with the meal. It was, it was tasteless and the meat was tough. Oh, oh, it was, oh, now it's, now it's Jack narrating again. Sorry, I couldn't tell for a second. But Anna said she liked it. She was so kind. I wish I could help more. What do you mean? With, with money, I guess. I was being serious, but she laughed. That made me feel a bit stupid. Oh, Jack, money's no problem at all. I told you already, I've got a lot saved up and the rent here is nothing. Oh, okay. Anna hummed contently. A minute later, she stopped. There is something you can do, actually. Really? Yes, really. Ah, but I'm not sure if, you're, if you'd be up to it. Anything. I'll do anything for you. Ooh, boy, you hypnotized. Okay, then. What is it? How can I help? Wait until before bedtime, okay? I nodded. What... What... What we gonna do? When I heard what she wanted me to do, I didn't take it well. I was angry. Furious. I felt betrayed. You want me to... Yes, I do. But... No. You said... You said I'd never have to remember anything. You promised. I got up from the bed and started pacing from wall to wall, never looking at Anna. Just circling around the outer perimeter of the room, like we did in the last episode. What she said hurt. How could you lie like that? Oh, baby. Please don't hate me. I was shivering with anger. I thought I might faint, but I didn't hate her. I couldn't. So I stopped walking and faced her. I know I said what I said, but this is important. Don't you believe me? There was only one thing I could say. Yeah, I believe you. Thank you, Jack. I love you. I love you, too. Aw, and I'm sorry. Don't. Don't say you're... Hearing Anna say she was sorry was for some reason like a punch to the gut. It tugged at my memory. She... She always said, I know, but that's not what I'm telling you to remember. You must never remember that woman. Forget all you have left of her. Then, what I want you to recall goes much, much further back. It won't be easy, but when you do, when you remember, our love will be the deepest it's ever been. Don't you want that? I do. I love you. I want that. I want to love you even more. Tell me what I should remember. Anna embraced me with happy tears in her eyes, but she wouldn't tell me what I needed to remember. She said it would be pointless if she told me, and I had to remember it all by myself. So she wants you to remember something, but she's not trying to gonna tell you what it is or give you any clues, because she doesn't want to help. Okay. Fine. Anna ordered me to sit down in front of the alarm clock every day for at least an hour. I was to do this while she was at work. I was to have my eyes closed. I was to try digging back in my memories. Far, far back. Oh, how far back? I did as ordered, but the first time I tried, the very next day, it was all so foggy in my mind that I couldn't even start. Thinking felt slow. It was like walking through molasses. I only made myself tired. Before I fell asleep sitting up, one last thought came to me. Was thinking always so hard? The second time, too, I gave up right away. I couldn't do it, but I had promised Anna. The next day, I tried harder. My head hurt, and I felt like I was groping in the dark, scared and all alone. But I did it. I had promised Anna. I waited further in. Oh. But who is that? A flash of a smile made my chest hurt. But I kept going. For love. Huh? Which one did I love? Which one did I hate? Things didn't used to be like this, did they? This feels wrong. Something went terribly wrong. I need to make sense of it. Grace was the one you were in a relationship with. Days later, while going back in my memory, I reached a wall. 
A dam. A damn wall! I felt I shouldn't try to climb over it, so I didn't. There were things out there I didn't want to see. So I went back to the puddle I'd been searching through. It, through. it was a stew of love and fear and hate, given and taken seemingly at random. It was a mess. It was a messy puddle of memories. But it was a mess in my head. I would make sense of it. I would make it make sense, even. I would do both. Jack! Yes, Anna? I'm going to work. Aren't you going to say bye? Oh my goodness, we're at chapter six. Oh, bye, Anna. And a goodbye kiss? We kissed. Aw. <sniffs> there. Anna placed a hand on my forehead. Are you okay? You might have a fever. I can give you something for that. I smiled. I'm okay. It's just... What is it? Trouble? Trubs? You can tell me anything. Um, do you know that sandwich shop? Which one? Next to the... where I... Next to the store? I nodded. You want a sandwich from there? Yeah, if that's okay. Well, there is always a huge line there. Please, Anna? It would mean a lot to me. Oh, how can I resist? Of course, darling, I'll get you anything. What kind of sandwich do you want? Anything you pick. Hmm, I'll get you something light. You're not getting much exercise. I don't want you to get fat. Is that all right? Yep. Great. And don't forget your remembering session. You've been doing this, right? You've been remembering your remembering session, right? I know, sometimes I remember, but I have to remember to remember to remember my remembering session. Yeah. And? I frowned and shook my head. Nothing yet? Oh well, it's not even been two weeks yet. You'll get there soon, I'm sure you will. Yeah, I will. And I pinched my cheek, kissed me again, and left. That was nice, I guess. And I went and threw up in the toilet. Oh, God. I brushed my teeth and washed my mouth three times over. I can't... I can't go on like this. I couldn't keep living here. Oh, was he... Has he just been pretending this whole time? I waited ten minutes until I was sure Anna was gone. Then I pulled back the heavy curtains. Down on the street, there was a single person looking sad and abandoned. I waved at her. She looked up, nodded, and walked into the building. <gasps> oh. Hi, Jack. I was so happy to see her, I wanted to cry. Oh, Grace. We started seeing each other in secret five days ago. I knew how long exactly. I'd started counting the days again. That big cloud of confusion in my brain was gone. I wasn't Anna's dog anymore. It was Anna's own fault. What else could she expect having me dig around my past like that? I, I guess. She was like, I want you to remember things, but I won't tell you what, so you can't be held responsible for what you remember if what you remember is not what she wanted you to remember. But it was scary how close I'd come to letting go. If things were a bit different, I might have kept on being a half-mute idiot forever, and I never would have let Grace inside. When I first heard Grace's voice again, I thought I had finally snapped. I thought I was hallucinating, but I opened the door, and there she was. Nice. Grace? Grace, I'm so happy to see you. I thought... After your message, I thought I'd never... Don't say that. Don't say anything. Just for a minute. We put our arms around each other. We'd only been apart for a few weeks, but so many things had happened that it felt like years. I knew it. You don't hate me. I don't know what she was talking about, and I didn't really care. Only one thing mattered right now. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I've been working up the courage to leave ever since I had become myself again. As stupid as it seemed, I was afraid of going outside. But with Grace here, I could leave. I could do anything. We can't. Huh? You're not going to leave here. Um, I have I have an Uber set up to get out of here, but I can't update my reservation to say that I have another person with me, so it's like, it's too close for me to cancel it and not get charged. But also, I don't want to wait around for another one, so you have to find your own Uber. You're not going to leave here. Not yet. Why not? I just told you. Do you have any idea what it's like for me in here? I can't imagine, Jack, and I'm so, so sorry I didn't believe you. You know how dangerous Anna was right from the start. That's all the more reason to get the hell away. I told you, not yet. This isn't something we can run away from. I so wish we could just pack up and leave, but Anna's going to follow us wherever we go. God damn it! <laughs> I stomped on the ground like an angry child, like, I want to run away from my captor now. Grace was right. Anna had followed me here. If we left now, she'd do it again. We'd have to report her to the... No, Jack, no police. They trust her first a million times over. I guess they would. Besides, I wasn't even sure if she'd done anything actually illegal. Like, I don't know if she's done anything illegal, but she's done some dickish stuff. But what then? 
What do we do? I don't know. Ugh, why is this happening to us? Even as we talked, we kept our ears to the hallway. Though we both knew Anna was at work, the slightest echo of a footstep was enough to make us jump. Why can't you just leave us alone? What does she even want from you? I think I might have a clue. I told Grace about how Anna was trying to make me remember stuff from years ago. But it was so long ago. Anything could have made her obsessed with me. Jack? What? I'm sorry to say this. I know you always hated it when I did. What is it? I had a good feeling what she'd say. I didn't like it. You really do have to remember. I pinched the bridge of my nose. There was a big headache coming on right behind the eyes. Ooh, that's a migraine headache. And they are not fun. I have had them before, and I assure you, migraine headaches, they're less fun than they sound. You may be telling me, well, they don't sound very fun at all. Well, they're less fun than that. We can't win against her like this. Not when she knows so much more than we do. I know, all right. Do you think you can do it? I don't want to do it, but I think I can. I've never tried. Not seriously, not since those first few days. Good, please do try. And thank you for not giving in, Jack. I know it must be hard. Do you need anything from the outside? I could sneak something in. And he's like, hmm. I know how this situation can net me two sandwiches. I don't have a lot, but... No, I don't need anything. Oh, he could have asked. He could have gotten two sandwiches. Anna kept me well fed. I don't know why that's italicized. She's like, what do you mean by well fed, huh? I put as much contempt as I could into those words. Are you doing all right, though? You don't have any money, do you? I think Anna's got some stash somewhere around here. Grace refused. We can't risk her noticing. And besides, I'm doing okay. I'm staying with a friend. They're a big help. All right, then. So she landed on her feet. Made me happy to hear that. I'll be going now, Jack. What, already? Anna won't be home for hours. She's not supposed to. We've got to be careful. And being here at all is making me so nervous I could die. And you're right. Besides, we have plenty of time to spend together once this is over. Yeah. Just us two. We looked at each other lovingly. Huh? Then a door slammed shut somewhere in the building. I really need to go. Bye, Jack. Bye, Grace. I love you. Uh, I wondered if it was still okay for me to tell Grace I loved her, but the words went and said themselves. Grace stood on her tiptoes to kiss me on the cheek. Aw, I love you too. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Who's at the dough? Who's at the dough? I'm pretty sure that might have been who we think it was. But we are just going to have to find out next time I'm going to play. Holy shit. This game is full of twists and turns and loop-de-loops. Just like how I described it last time. Not unlike a roller coaster. But thank you so much. I love you all. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see how this turns out. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.